Okay, we are live in Los Angeles, California. This is SiliconAngle.tv, the Cube, our flagship telecast. We go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier, the, the host and co founder of SiliconAngle.com, SiliconAngle.tv, and I'm here with my co-host. I'm Dave Vellante of Wikibon.org, and, and John, we've been talking about the transformation in the services business now for well over a year. We launched Services Angle, and now we're here today to talk about new support realities. Um, what we're talking about is how the industry has changed, the virtualization, cloud, convergence is all really driving through to IT organizations, but the services model hasn't really adapted. And that's what we're here to talk to you about today. You know, Dave, I just want to say, you know, it's been a great run for theCUBE, um, working together on all these things. Going back to 2010, you know, when we started doing theCUBE um, at EMC World in, in 2010, then VM World, then at Sapphire, we really discovered a new medium around broadcasting out from events. And, and really, we don't really care what the events are as long as they're relevant. And, and uh, throughout 2010, we saw services uh, being a big thing, and, and one thing we, th we felt strongly about was the sea change around cloud mobile and social, which we've been covering since 2009, and you've been doing a lot of research around, is that no one was talking about this transformation around services, yet the market was all about Amazon, Google, and, and the whole cloud, and obviously Apple with mobile and Android. So what's going on underneath that massive mega trend is this huge disruption that we saw with services. So we were kind of poked at, people were poking fun at SiliconANGLE Wikibon when we launched servicesangle.com, now under the leadership of Alex Williams and Matt Weinberg and more writers coming on board. People thought, what are you doing? Why are you doing services angle? Why, why not cover uh, social media? Why not cover Google and Facebook? They're like, well, we track them, but we saw that this disruption was affecting business. Real change around the money changing hands, the disruption around the ecosystem that was providing the solutions around cloud. So eight months into our vertical, vertical publication services angle, we've had an outpouring of support, and one of them is HP, and without HP support, we would not be here. But more importantly, Dave, this event that HP's having here in Los Angeles is about the pathway to the cloud. And, and they have a big announcement we'll talk about, but this is a real disruption. The disruption of the cloud, mobile, and social is hitting the services services industry, and Tim O'Reilly pointed it out at Strata Conference, is that the billions of dollars that are going to change hands around big data, around computer science, new things are changing energy, and these kinds of things are going to happen because of of uh, the people on the street, the people who are making it happen. And those are consulting services, those are new services, whether it's platform as a service, new products and services. So services angle now is very relevant and I'm personally excited and I'm glad we did that. John, services is a $1 trillion market worldwide. I mean, it's absolutely enormous and it comprises uh, a number of different factors, consulting, uh, professional services, training, education, and of course, Support services, what people you know used to call and know as the break fix business. But here's the thing about services: it's very diversified, it's global in nature, in nature, and it's local in nature. So it's big, but it's but it's highly fragmented, and so it's a complicated business. Now, what's happening is services traditionally have been very stovepiped, very reactive, and very device centric. It's antithetical to the notion of cloud. Cloud, cloud is <laughs> cloud and virtualization. It's all well, in there, right? I'll give, you an, I'll give you an example. So uh, in 2009, I started this. Uh, it's a club in San Francisco called the Cloud Club. And in there was the early pioneers of cloud. Joyent, uh, a lot of the guys were involved in Ruby and the pre-Node.js -node guys. But one person in particular that I thought was really onto something big was Randy Bias. And Randy Bias is now the CEO of a company called Cloud Scaling. And Cloud Scaling is a company that is now venture-backed growing like crazy, and what he did was he identified the niche of services in the cloud, and there was a huge pent up demand for services, Dave, and this is a great example of the change that's going on, this massive sea change. And here in Los Angeles, HP is announcing a new completely transformed portfolio around services that affect a new generation of computing, a new generation of storage. We've been covering HP since HP Discover, Three-par acquisition was a, a game changer for HP. Donatelli's been leading the whole uh, converged storage and networking and compute. We've had Jim Gontier here on theCUBE, who's uh, one of the senior managers at HP. And it's still the same message. HP is not straight off course, and that is they're moving to a completely new architecture that's bringing customer benefits. And that is the fact that things are getting less expensive and the compute power and the, and the performance is changing. So that's going to change the services. So HP is announcing a new breed of portfolio of services. So, so what's your take on as that? As I was saying before, you know, you've got cloud, virtualization, uh, converged infrastructure. Services has to adapt to those trends. So how is services adapting? These some of the things we're going to talk about. Uh, how are services transforming to meet these new customer environments? And then as IT as a service becomes a reality, how is services changing? 
to meet those changing needs. So the promise that HP is putting forth and others is you know, automation, automated service management, proactive instead of reactive, converged versus stovepipe, uh, an environment-driven versus de device-centric type of environment. Those, that's the brand promise that services organizations are going to have to meet or they're going to be in big trouble. Yeah, and you know, at VMworld 2010, when Paul Moritz re-changed VMware, VMware announced a completely new architecture that Paul Moritz put out around the entire cloud architecture of virtualization. So we're seeing virtualization playing a big role in services. So what's happened since 2010 is VMware has rolled out Cloud Foundry, they bought SpringSource early prior to that. You're seeing this, this kind of kind of a stack, if you will, an open model around filling in new kinds of services around cloud and virtualization. So virtualization is at the heart of a lot of the technology here, Dave. And I think HP has been poised with their decisions going back to buying 3Com and how they've created this converged, kind of integrated, but yet still separate portfolio. You got networking, you got storage, and you got compute, all kind of in one same group. So you know, the question that we're going we're gonna to find out today here in theCUBE is, what does all this mean for services? With virtualization, with cloud and mobile, what is really happening and what is the new, new generation of services? What are the new challenges? These are the things that we want to find out. We want the folks out there watching. If you have any questions, you can go to you know, HP's communities and poll through their Facebook page. Uh, I'm on Twitter at, uh, at Furrier, at DeVellante. Um, I think there might, is there a hashtag that we can go to? We'll find out on the hashtag, but if you're on Twitter, you can ping at SiliconANGLE or at Furrier and we'll answer your questions, but we're going to really dig in, Dave, and, and find out how the services components of the business is going to change for customers. The other thing I would add, John, is the rock stars in today's IT, the people you know, where the rubber meets the road, they want to interact differently with their service provider. So I would throw, uh, you mentioned mobile, I'd throw social into that mix. Right? People don't want to just necessarily pick up the phone. Younger people, they might want to chat, they might want to collaborate with a peer group in a, in a, in a forum. Um, they might want to use some other type of mechanism or channel to get support. Um, well, you know we love social because you know uh, our entire media company is based on computer science and social science, and we've always been and was the first publication blog media company to focus on cloud mobile and social. Cloud mobile and social right now at Google's last big press event, that was their core tenant, the entire company. You look at what Facebook's doing, it's all about social. The new generation of leaders and workers, if you will, in IT are using social media, social tools, social networking to find information, to do support, find out customer needs. The old way of doing things, email, how people are supporting their, their uh, environments is completely changing. I mean, you know, if you're doing the old way, you're going to be out of business. So the new shift that we're seeing is an entirely new generation, a new ecosystem of, of services, tools, and customer behavior. So, so it's clear we've seen the user experience on, on this new web being great, but now it's translating into the services business because the customer experience is number one, and this, these new tools and these new ways are, are fundamental to that. So I'm going to explore that heavily with the guests today. Now, John, it's important to point out, we were at the uh, HP Project Voyager announcement, what they called Gen 8, which was all about instrumenting uh, and automating the infrastructure, you know, 1,600 touch points that are now going to be instrumented, you know, and, and have access to their professionals. So we're talking about uh, an instrumentation, an automation level, and services has to adapt to that. So we have a clip from that event uh, with Antonio Neri, who was the big cheese of HP's uh, services uh, uh, business. He came on, he couldn't be here today, but so, uh, uh, Kian, let's run that clip from the Project Voyager announcement with Antonio Neri. Keep it right here and we'll be right back. I'm Dave Vellante of Wikibon.org, uh, open source research and advisory firm, and we've got a great guest. Uh, we love the services angle. Antonio Neri, Senior Vice President and General Manager of the Technology Services Group. Welcome inside the Cube. Well, thank you for having me. Antonio, we love services because everyone else doesn't write about services. So we have a new publication, servicesangle.com, as part of our siliconangle.com franchise. We also have a DevOps angle covering kind of the emerging developer focused. Uh, we've been covering cloud, mobile, and social uh, intersection of computer science and, and uh, social science for now two years. It's our hallmark. And when we launched Services Angle, no one really was doing anything covering services, but we saw through the research wikibon.org, the services business was going through some disruption. And I wanted to talk to you about that uh, here today inside the Cube and about HP, because HP's presence with the customer base is always changing. Um, what are you seeing in the landscape, in the marketplace around um, HP's services innovation, 
and the kinds of requests that you get in the services products in, from your customers? Well, uh, listen, I mean, we, we talk to a lot of customers all the time. And, uh, you know, clearly my organization server serves thousands of customers on a daily basis. So we get real-time feedback from our customers, what they like, what they don't like, and most important, what they need going forward. So as a part of this launch, right, as a part of the converged infrastructure, we're taking the opportunity to really redefine the entire customer service experience. And we're taking advantage of the, all the innovation that have been built in the product to really provide a leading customer experience. And when we talk about the innovation, it's not just about the product itself, it's about the experience. And so with the announcement of today, what we're doing, really bringing innovation at the core and addressing true customer problems. And let me, let me bring a couple of examples. An example of, we, we hear all the time from our customers, help us automate the whole service experience. Take manual steps out of the way. You know, help me remove human errors that happens on a daily basis. So the innovations we, we, we throw with HP inside online, which is a true cloud-based IT support portal, innovation in the serviceability of the product, the smarts, the intelligence we build in the product will allow us to really drive a true differentiated experience in an automated way and including our service partners, uh, which we call the service one, pa service one partners as part of the ecosystem. So we are making a huge step forward, but make no mistake, services is, it, is the core of what we're going to do going forward, because at the end of the day, services keep technology running.